Hey guys, this is Jesper from Yex, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a local SEO project in Yex, including driving directions. So what you do is you click on local SEO module and click on add new projects. And uh, once you're inside of this project, you uh, see this uh, dialog here. So let's give it a name first. First SEO project. So what you need to do first is you need to find your company, your Google business profile. And uh, let me just search for my Google business profile, this, this one here, Jesper Nissen. And this is the place ID. So uh, this will find your Google business profile. If you do not have, if you have hidden address, this won't work. Because uh, what we're doing is we're, we are creating driving directions to a physical address and we can't create a driving direction to an address that doesn't exist or is hidden. So just so you know, um, this will find your GPP if your address is not hidden. So you can see that it finds the latitude and the longitude. And uh, then you can see on this map to, in the right side that uh, this is the radius, three kilometers. I can increase it like this. So let's say 10 kilometers like this. And uh, what that means is that all of the starting points of the driving directions that I'm creating are within this blue circle. So let's say that if I want to create 100 driving directions like this, then inside of this blue circle will be all of the starting points. And if I zoom a little bit in here, the endpoint of all the driving directions will be the Google business profile of me, Jesper Nissen, in that address here. Um, so let me just reduce the radius a little bit more because so this is one way the default way of creating driving directions are just simply specifying the radius specifying the number of driving directions and uh, you also need a keyword down here because we use that for the file saving <coughs> but then you're basically done that's the that's the basic way of creating driving directions but if you are monitoring your, your Google business profile rankings and you know that in a certain area of the map you're not ranking as well as you would like, what you could do is you could simply click on the map. Let's say that I'm not ranking very well in Filio, this scene name here. Then I'm clicking here, doot. And you can see that the blue circle moved from this here, this place here, and it moved over here. And you can see these red arrows. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So you can see these two red arrows are pointing to this, um, to the Google business profile here. So what does that mean? Well, that means that inside of this blue circle are all of the starting points of the 100 driving directions. So this will, uh, this, the implication of this is that, for example, from Freilo, there will be a driving direction to Jespenissen. Over here, there will be a driving direction to Jespenissen. Over here, there will be a driving direction starting here and ending in Jesper Nissen. So inside of this blue circle will be the starting points. And that what's, that's what this means here. Click on map to change center of starting point circle. That's, that's what it means. It's easier to show than to explain actually. So uh, yeah, so that's how you, uh, that's, that's the basic setup of how to create the driving directions. So the output of this will be a series of URLs. Uh, that you can then insert in the cloud stacks, in uh, Google Sites, in the citations, in uh, Scrapebox comments. You could build links to them, uh, and they will boost your visibility in the in the area where you have the starting point. So that's why it's beneficial to be able to click on this map and move the circle around like this, because it's very specific. The starting point of the driving directions will be the area where your visibility is improved. So if you want general general visibility improvement, you simply click on the, uh, or you don't click on the map at all. And it's simply by default is just taking that, taking that uh, in a, the uh, immediate vicinity around your Google business profile, that will be where the driving directions will start from and they will all end in your Google business profile. So that's uh, that's how this works. Let me just close this guy again. So that's how it works. Let me zoom out a little bit. So let's say let's set it to uh, 
dude, let's set it to five kilometers. And let's say that I want 100 driving directions. Business description uh, or company description, that's something that we uh, use in uh, the uh, files that we create afterwards because uh, it's, it's actually possible for you to upload the created driving directions to the Google Drive, to create a Google Drive stack. And it's also possible to create a mind maps using this. And we're actually using the business description. So this is the company of Jesper Nielsen is doing, and he's doing SEO, local SEO, Google optimization. So the reason I'm writing like this using these guys here is because we are supporting spin text, because we're using this business description in a lot of places throughout uh, YAX and in the drive stack. So that's why it's uh, beneficial for you to actually apply spin text. Uh, business citations, Facebook, UL, YouTube, UL, and so on, so, so on and so forth. So what I recommend in the, is that in the business description, you include a general description of what you're doing, who you are, and you also include business citation and stuff like that. We do fetch the address and insert that for you, so you don't need to worry about that. So the address is fetched through, through our API. So don't worry about that, but you do need to think about what you put in this field. So transportation modes is uh, driving, walking, bicycling, transits. So I basically always select all of them. And the main keyword is used to um, name the drive folder and the files that we create using the Google connection. Uh, the additional keywords, so both the main keyword and the additional keywords are used in the, uh, in the URLs that we actually create because we are modifying the URLs. So it's kind of like you have the, drive, you have the driving direction, you paste it in the browser, and then uh, you can see the on the Google Maps, you can actually see this, you know, line, uh, you know, the starting point and the end point. But what we do is we modify this URL, so we actually append a keyword to that. So what that means is that when you click on the URL, you will actually be able to actually see the keyword. So, but let me, let me show you, local SEO, Google optimization. So we're using these keywords for something, and that is to uh, generate topical relevance uh, you know attached to the URLs that we actually create so let me just click create Doot. and now it's done so uh, that was uh, actually very fast and simple a lot of explanation of course but uh, it, it is relatively fast to create a new project so what i can do now is i can let me see here i can download the urls as text let's just do that so you can see what that looks like cancel so let me just do like this so we can see what we're looking at. <clears throat> so you can see here that uh, this is the URL. So let me actually just copy this URL and open it that in a browser. Good. Close. So you will be able to see here that uh, so apparently this is the starting point out here and this is the end point, which is of course my GBP. So let's just uh, zoom out again. So, uh, so that's, the, uh, that's the driving direction, right? And when I go to the end here, I can see that there are no, there's no keyword, but there is a keyword here. And if I actually do insert this and make this into a clickable link, this keyword will be present in the URL. So you're actually querying Google query is equal to Google optimization or query is equal to SEO or local SEO. So we are varying, we are, you know, uh, it's, it's random how we do that. And the way that we actually produce these driving directions is we take the latitude and we take the longitude and then we, we vary them just a little bit. You can see here 809, 632, 8, uh, 232 and so on and so forth. So you get all of these different driving directions in a circle around the center of this GBP. So uh, what you can do is you can uh, download the URLs. 
here as text or in, in Excel format. You can download the uh, embeds as text or in Excel format because besides the driving directions, we also generate iframes or embeds with that driving direction. We're not using the Google API, so you don't need, there's no extra charge for you to do this. This is all included in the X subscription. And uh, these embeds and these URLs can be inserted in web pages, websites, however you choose. And uh, you can also export the KML file. The KML file is special because that's used to create my maps. I'm going to show you that in the next video. And uh, let me just show you as the final step, you can export to drive. Doot. Clients and my Gmail, Jonathan Ruberman, and upload. So what we're doing now is we are generating a drive folder that's public to the web, a Google Sheet, Google Slides, and Google Docs with all of the uh, generated driving directions, embeds, and uh, the information that I entered into the project that you have just seen. So let me just uh, click uh, pause while let's, no, let's, let's actually just keep it running so you can see how long time it takes to upload. It takes between five to 30 seconds, depending on, actually, I don't know if it's uh, depending on uh, the network uh, traffic here in the, in the building where I am, or, or if just because Google is sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Who knows? Let's uh, just uh, keep it rolling. Do, 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 do. And now it's done. And uh, you can see I get this link to the spreadsheet. Uh, but I can actually also go to my Gmail and click on Drive. Doot. Drive. And I can now see the files. I can click on my drive here. I can see this is the folder. And the name of the folder is SEO, and that's because the keyword I uh, entered as the main keyword was SEO. I can click share and click share, and I can see that it's public to the web or public. So anyone can find it, and Google, in theory, can index it. So the uh, sheet looks like this. So all of these URLs are clickable, and uh, they look like this. This is one of them. This is another, and so on and so forth. So uh, so just by uploading it to the Google Drive folder, we actually now created 100 links pointing to these driving directions. And uh, same thing with the Google Docs. Looks like this, driving directions reports. Uh, this is the company of Jesper Nissen, and he is doing Google. So this is the spin tax information that I entered. And then the links and the embed URLs. So I'm gonna just scroll down here. 100 more links, and uh, this is oh, this is the KML file, and this is the slides, the PowerPoint slides, or Google Slides, sorry, not PowerPoint. So driving directions reports, and uh, so each driving direction get its slides. So again, 100 links going from Google Slides to the driving directions. And let's uh, see what we have here. So what you can do with the, um, I'm going to show you that in the next video, but what you can do with these is that you can actually embed, no, I'm actually, no, I'm, I'm just going to show you now actually, because now I, I am in it. So uh, <clears throat> because uh, this drive folder is public to the web, it's now possible for you to grab the embed code for the uh, Google Sheets, Google Doc, and Google Slides and share that across both in Cloud Stacks, in uh, your websites, in your citations, everywhere that you can either put a link or in an iframe, you can actually embed these guys here. And it's actually built into Yex. So let me show you in Page Builder, simple theme here. And let me just clear all sections. Doot. So what does that look like? It looks very boring because we don't have any information. So let me click add section, add. And let me add driving direction project. Uh, so what I do is I, uh, uh, so that was a little bit fast. What I do is I click on this plus dude, and click on driving directions. And then we have this radio button up here, choose driving directions from either default or local SEO module. So the local SEO module is what I just created. So I will select my project, first SEO project, and 1010. So now it will include 10 embeds 
uh, and 10 things. So, and I want both sheets, slides, and docs. And insert. You see stuff came in here, and I will click update. And let's click preview. So this is what it looks like. So now you have embedded into this web page the uh, slide, oh, sorry, the sheets, the doc, and the uh, slides. And down here you have the uh, iframe of the um, of the driving directions, and then you have the scroll down. You have the actually click. You have the clickable links. And so, you, so in this example, you can actually see what I'm talking about when I'm saying that the driving directions will be a clickable link and the keyword will be appended to this URL. So you can see it says travel mode is equal to trans transit and query is equal to SEO. So when I click here, good, I'm taking to this taken to this driving direction. The keyword will disappear because the URL will be converted to its final form. But Google will know that you actually asked, you queried for SEO, and then you arrived at this driving direction, and you your final destination is Jespersen at Hoboken in Aalborg. Uh, so let me go back. So uh, obviously this is a very boring looking website. <clears throat> so I mean it's a, this is just an example I'm just showing you, and uh, the nice thing about this is that you can actually grab these sheets docs, slides, and all of these guys down here, you can just download them from the uh, local SEO module. You can download this stuff here, download links as in, in Excel. And then we have the drive links. And uh, uh, so here are the map, the main, the slide, the doc, the folder, the KML. And you can download the embeds here and the URLs. So what this means is that you can share this everywhere. So it's very easy and very fast. And in upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how to create my maps and also Google Sites also, because both the my maps and the Google Sites play extremely well together when you're doing local SEO when it comes to stuff like this. So that was the uh, local SEO module. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Take care.